Welcome for our math lesson. Uh, I'll be teaching the surface area of common solids, and I'm going to start with a cone. The surface, the surface area of a cone. Basically, a cone is a is a pyramid with a circular base. The shape of a a bell, for example, when you consider this shape, you find that uh, it is a pyramid because there is a common vertex at the top and the base is circular. The base is circular with a given radius, with a given radius r. So this cone shape can have a vertical height from the top to the center, h. Then we have a sloping height of the cone. It's mostly abbreviated letter L. Therefore, we usually say <coughs> That uh, the surface area of a cone is given by the curved surface, which is given by pi r l. This is the radius, this is the slanting height. Therefore, for a cone, to get the curved surface, we multiply pi by radius by the slanting height. Then we have the base surface, which is circular. And the area is given by pi r squared. So, for example, if you are told to find the surface area of a cone of base radius 7 centimeters and vertical height. So you proceed, <coughs> we are finding the surface area of a cone 7 centimeters and vertical height 13 centimeters. So the cone is in this shape. We have the bottom radius 7 centimeters, then the vertical height. 13 centimeters. So with the vertical height as 13 centimeters, it means we can calculate the sloping height because the vertical height and the radius are meeting at a right angle. We can use Pythagoras theorem to obtain the sloping height. Therefore, L from Pythagoras theorem will be given by 13 squared plus 7 squared. Then we check the square root. And this will give us Fourteen point seven six centimeters. So the sloping height is fourteen point seven six centimeters. So now from this one, we can proceed now to get surface area, whereby we have a curved surface, and the area is given by pi r l. Then the base, which is circular, pi r squared. Therefore, we will multiply the two over seven times 7, which is the radius, then times 14.76. Then we had 22 out of 7, 7 squared. So when you multiply this side, you get 22 by 7 by 14.76. Then we divide everything by 7. This will give us 324.72. Plus one fifty four. So the total surface area for such a cone will be four hundred and seventy eight point seventy two square centimeters. 
So that is the total surface area.